Hello, I'm Dr. Jerry Scheidbach. I pastor Lighthouse Baptist Church in Santa Maria, California, and I'm your brain masseur. You know, Easter is a good word. We find it in our Bible in the King James Version. It says in Acts chapter 12, verse number 4, And when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him, intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. Now, some people have objection to that word being found in our Bible. They think it's a reference to some female fertility goddess and so on. But actually, uh, that's not correct. Easter is a good word. It is an English word from an ancient German root, Oster. And the controversy over its use needs to get settled. So I'm going to cut to the chase and get to the point. It's a word in the German language that simply means revive or come back to life. And it was used by German uh, pagans. It was used by German Christians. It was used by German atheists. <laughs> it was just well, it was just a German word is the point. And um, it basically, it was used to speak of springtime and things like this. But uh, it shouldn't be any surprise to anyone that Christians would use that German word for the resurrection event. In fact, that's what Luther did. Luther used it in his translation to identify the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, there was no pagan holiday called Oster Day or whatever, although pagans certainly did their pagan thing during springtime. Christians did their Christian thing during springtime. The truth is it was Christians who actually uh, elevated the word to the status of a proper noun and identified it with a special holiday that we have come in the English language to call Easter. Although every Sunday is a celebration of the resurrection of our Lord, I like Easter. It's a worldwide pause where we reflect and give witness and testimony to the truth that Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins, according to the scriptures. He was buried, and on the third day, he rose again, according to the scriptures. And that's the gospel. Now, we celebrate Easter, and I hope you do too. And I hope if you live in our area, you'll come on by and celebrate that with us. 1310 West Betteravia Road here in Santa Maria, California. My first message will be presented at 9.30 a.m. Easter Sunday. And in that message, I'm going to preach about the first encounter with the risen Lord. And of course, I'll be talking about the meeting between Mag uh, Mary Magdalene and our Lord Jesus Christ. And then uh, that the next message at 10.45, I'm going to preach a message titled, The Message of Easter. And we'll look at its relevance, not only to our present life or to what happened before and what's going on right now with us, but also what it means to our future. So I hope you'll be our guest this coming Sunday for Easter Sunday. God bless you. God bless America. I'll see you in church.